welcome to Mystery Mike. Thank you all for tuning in here. Alrighty, I have a few things here to show you. One of the things I'm going to start off with is a picture from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. All the way back in, let me see, I think it's all the way back in 83. I'm getting old. Alrighty, this is a Best part I cut off the tip of the horns there, but that is one heck of a mule deer head, and that is world's record from 1959 to 1974, and now it's in second place, and that was back in '83. So, you know, I don't know where it stands now, but that is one impressive mule deer head. Look at the size of those horns. I thought that was really neat. Wish I didn't cut the tip of the horns off, but anyway, I figure I show you all that there. Alrighty, and also this is the end of the first week of deer hunting in Maryland, and uh, haven't been seeing too much. As a matter of fact, I haven't been really seeing anything since opening day. They're really sitting tight, but uh, we got another week, so we'll be going out and giving it a try. I haven't seen anything. My son hasn't seen. spike, then the chances of getting the deer were probably 
spot and you sit tight all day and usually a, a herd would run by and you just take your scope and you scope and as soon as you see a legal buck and you would take it and um, that's one of them I've taken up there and I don't know if it's this one but I'll tell a little story because I think it's kind of neat. It was me and my brother and two real good friends of ours and his son. We used to load ourselves up and head on back in about a good mile and it wasn't flat believe you me it was a mountain lion and you would get pretty dang on tire and I remember one year that I had my spot already picked out and we were hiking back in and I was the last one so in other words as we went everybody dropped off and you know this one here this one here and then I went behind them I could not find my spot and I'm going to the left and I'm going to the right up and down this street trying to find my hollow and I could not find it and now it's starting to break daylight I'm thinking holy cow I got my spot picked out and here here I can't even find it so I had to make a decision do I keep on walking around and miss the best part of the, of the day in the morning or just sit here and sit tight so I said you know what I'm just sitting right here and that's it well I sat there and 30 minutes went by and I heard ching, ching, ching. and sure enough there was a spike and I got it and as I was dragging it out I I was only over one hollow more than what I should have been but anyway hey it worked out. I got it here. So anyway, that was from Green Ridge. That was from Pennsylvania. And the thing is, um, good grief back then, you had to get a permit, you know, to shoot a doe and everything. And good Lord, now, I don't know how many deer they want you to take. It seems like good grief. It's unbelievable, and back then it was like you couldn't even, you know, get a dough, you had to get a permit, and when you put that permit in, man, you look at that mailbox every day, like, God, I hope I get that permit, I hope I get it, man, you get that thing, and you were so happy, now you can go up there, like I said, I don't know how many you can take, so hurry out in the woods, and you hear Christmas.